Hi, I'm Shailesh and I will be taking you through creating inventory masters today. But before I start my session, let me first discuss with you what were the topics that were covered in the previous module. In the previous module, we saw creating chart of accounts in Tally ERP9. Then we discussed about creating and altering groups individually and in multiples. We also discussed at length at how do we create ledgers individually and in multiples. Then there was a discussion on providing opening balances for the ledgers and marking bill wise for the references that are created for a ledger. Today the topics that we will be covering are how do we enable certain F11 features to maintain inventory. Then we will see how uh, certain masters are created and altered. These masters are stock groups, stock categories, unit of measures, go downs and stock items. Before we start discussing all these features at length, let us first try and understand what is the importance of inventory in business. To explain the importance, let us take an example of a house. As for as, there's a small family of four and this family um, the milk that is consumed on a day to day basis could be one and a half liters this we come to a conclusion based on the ex previous experiences that we have had so what a family member does is continues to order one and a half liters of milk on a day to day basis to the milkman else what will happen if in place of one and a half liters, I placed an order for two and a half liters, then in that case, there will be a wastage of one liter daily. So what we are doing is we are over ordering and it is causing wastage. Because of this wastage, the money that we are investing in milk is also getting wasted. This money could have been invested somewhere else. Now. Taking the same family example, where, I, where the, there is a family of four, where we require one and a half liters a day, if I order one liter on a day to day basis instead of one and a half liters, in such a case, what will happen? In such a case, I will not be able to cater to the demand of milk to all the family members. So there will be definitely unhappy family members in my family. Let us try and fit this example in the business scenario. What will happen if I over order the stocks that I require? In such a case, there will be not sufficient buyers for this particular stock. The money that I have invested in this stock will be blocked. Why? Because the stock item is not moving as per the expectation that I have. So the money that is invested in this stock is blocked. This money could have been used into some other better usage. Similarly, on the other hand, what will happen if I don't stock sufficient goods in my go-down? In such a case, whenever the customer asks for this material, I may not have it in my stocks. And th at this point of time, what will happen? The customer will be dejected and may not come to me again to buy other materials also. So inventory is very important for any business. Having optimum level of inventory is also a big challenge for an organization. Now to know what is the stocks available with me and what are the stocks that I need for my future deliveries. or where is my funds blocked because of the inventory? I will need to re see various reports. And I will have to plan my reports in such a way that I get the information as per my requirement on a day to day basis. Therefore, creating inventory masters in a way that you get the reports as per your requirement it is very important. So what are the things that you would need to do when you are maintaining 
inventory and tally. Okay, now let us see what, what are the things that will be available by default in Tally ERP9. By default, to create inventory masters, you will go into inventory info, where you will get these options, stock groups, stock items, unit of measure and voucher types. Now, certain organizations may have go-downs also. Those are locations where the materials are stored. So, in such a case where you have multiple go downs and you want to maintain your stocks and see the reports based on the locations where they are stored, you can press F11, go to inventory features, here you have an option maintain multiple go downs. So we will set this as yes and hit enter. The next option is maintain stock categories. Now let us see. We will enable this, accept it and come back to the gateway of tally. Now when I go to inventory info, there are two more options which I have got enabled. What are these? These are stock categories and go downs. Okay, now before I start creating these, let us first understand what are all these options given for. Stock item. Stock item is the material in which my business deals with. Okay. Let's say I have television sets. So my television sets are my stock items. These are the material which I buy and sell on a day to day basis. Okay. Now let us say furniture. If I am a furniture dealer, meaning I buy and sell furnitures, then those furnitures will be considered as stock items for me. However, if I am not dealing in furnitures, assuming that I am dealing in computer softwares, then the furniture is not the item which I am dealing in. So it cannot become a part of stock items. It will become a part of invent. It will sorry, it will become a part of fixed assets. For a software manufacturer, what is the stock item that he is dealing in? is dealing in softwares. So the softwares will become the stock item. Okay. So we've got the clear understanding what is stock item. Stock item is the material in which I deal on a day to day basis. Now then why do we require stock groups? You may be dealing in multiple types of stock items which have different nature and characteristics. Okay, let, let me repeat this again. You may be dealing in stock items, materials, which have different different categories and character characterizations. They may have different categorizations and they may have different features. Based on these categorizations and features, you would like to categorize your stock items and club them together to see a complete report. Now let's say uh, you are dealing in televisions. But you have different types of uh, or different brands of uh, uh, televisions. So what will happen in such a case? Your different brands may become stock groups. Okay. Let's say I have a television of Sony. I have television of Panasonic. I have television of LG. I have television of Samsung. So all these may become my stock groups. And the television types that I am dealing in for each of these brands will become my stock items. Correct? Sony may be dealing in 29 inch television and it may have feature like LCD. Right? So that 29 inch LCD will become a stock item and it will be clubbed under a group called Sony. Similarly, I may have 32 inch LCD TV. Right? Which will then become a part of my Sony group. So when I see the report and I say, okay, show me the televisions which are there for Sony, 
it will show me 29 inch and 32 inch clear so my stock items having similar nature or behavior will be categorized into one stock group okay now what is stock categories then is it important yes stock category is also important because let's say uh, you require different level of categorization for your stock items okay like i gave an example that there are 29 inch and 32 inch lcd tvs you may want to cre create them as stock items or you may want to create it as different categories uh, because 29 inch lcd tv could be available with other brand also right so in such a case you may want to do a comparison between sony and some other brands 29 inch lcd tv this could be because it may be offering different uh, prices it may be dif offering different types of discounts right or let's say if the customer walks in and he says i want 29 inch sony but today in your stock sony 29 inch lcd is not available then you may prefer to give options to your customers like okay sony is not available but i have similar kind of television available in other brand would you like to go for it so in that case you may want to see category reports where you will categorize 29 inch, inch lcd as a category right which will give you the information about each brand's information like sony is this much panasonic is this much okay unit of measures well there are different unit of measures that we have for each uh, stock item like a cloth may be measured in meters or thans uh, milk as we discussed would be uh, would be in liters or milliliters right uh, you may have uh, metals in uh, weights like in kgs or tons right so you have different types of unit of measurements for different types of stock items it is dependent on what kind of type of item it is is it a liquid state is it a uh, solid state accordingly you will have you will have to define a unit of measurement for the item uh, now when you are defining a rate you will define define the rate either per liter meters or kgs right so you will have to define the unit of measurement for each item go downs as we discussed go downs are the locations where your stocks will be kept right for reporting purpose for each location you would like to know how much stock is available then in that case you will create go downs as the master in tally thank you so much and do join me in the other se video sessions I'm Shailesh, and I will be taking you through creating inventory masters today. Okay, now let us start with creation of stock groups first. The reason being, the stock item is the last most in the master creation because the stock items will be the will have to be classified under groups and categorized under some category. Will need a unit of measurement to support it. and will have to be placed under some location if it has any balance available right so first we will create groups categories unit of measures go downs and then we'll go into stock items but it doesn't mean that i cannot create these these groups categories go downs and unit of measurement from my stock items screen i can do it from there as well but first let us see the basic setup and then we'll see how we will do it from the stock item master screen okay so first i am taking you through the stock group now as we discussed we'll create our brands as the groups so i go into group screen create i say sony it is a primary uh, stock group whether the quantities of this items can be added meaning 
let's say if I have a television, okay, uh, 29 inch, 32 inch, I have 5 numbers of 29 inch and 6 numbers of 32 inch, then in that case this 5 and 6 can be added and shown as 11 numbers for Sony. Okay, let me repeat this. My 29 inch television, I have 5 numbers. My 32 inch television, I have 6 numbers. When I club it with Sony, should this 5 plus 6, 11 be displayed as Sony available 11 numbers? Or should I not add these items? Okay, so I say yes. You'll see it in the reports also. So I have created two groups, Sony and Panasonic. Now let us see how we will create multiple groups. This is a single group creation. I come to stock groups menu. I go to multiple stock groups, create under primary. Now I can give n number of uh, stock groups that I want to create. Now let us say I have LG. Can items, items are edible? Yes. Samsung. Yes. Now assuming that I type Sony again. What, what will happen? Sony is already created. Now I type again. It shows duplicate entry. Meaning Tally is keeping a track of what are these masters which have been already created and saved. Okay. So I will remove this. Now okay, my stock group creation is already done. So I hit enter, enter and I accept it. Now you have to be very careful here because in the multi alteration screen if you have not accepted, if you have not accepted the masters, the list which you have created, here you can see LG, Panasonic, Samsung and Sony have been created. Now I am trying to create one more. Let's say Devu, but by mistake I press escape. When I go into display, I will not be seeing Devu in my list because it is not being accepted or saved. Okay, so when you are in the multi multi stock item creation group uh, screen, you have to be very careful that you accept the screen before you move out of it. Okay. Now there are other options like display and alter. Like when I go to display and hit enter, it gives me the list of stock groups which need to be displayed. So I select one of these and I hit enter and it displays what are the configurations that have been made for this group. Okay, Panasonic. I'll be able to see what are the information in this particular group. Similarly, I can display multiple at a time. So I go to multiple all items and I see what is available in this group. There is alteration. Assuming that you want to make any changes in the stock group that you have created, you can go into single alteration, select alter and accept it. So the alteration is done. You can see here LG television is being displayed. So the groups have, the, have been created based on the brands LG, Panasonic, Samsung and Sony. Now let us move to the categories. Now each of these brands as I said will have uh, different uh, LC LCD makes like 29 inch or 32 inch. Now let us go to stock categories and create them. So I'm saying 29 inch television thirty-two 
inch television right and let's say 14 inch television now I have similar options available in the categories also like I can create multiple stock categories also at one time I can create multiple stock categories similarly I have other options like display when I go to display it will allow me to see what are the configurations done for stock category multi display will show me multiple uh, categories at a time alteration will allow me to alter information that is feeded into the stock categories okay now we will create unit of measurements now when we are dealing in uh, uh, televisions we will largely sell, sell these televisions either in pieces or numbers right so we me measure them in number of number of so I give a short name for it which is known as symbol I will provide a formal name whether there are decimals attached to it meaning if the material is to be sold in certain decimals like let's say kilogram kilogram can be also converted into a gram right meaning uh, I may not sell 1 kg I may sell 500 grams at a time which is half a kg right how would you uh, uh, display a half a kg? You'll say 0 0.5. Correct? Similar. So, what you will require is number of decimal places to measure this unit of measure. So, uh, for this unit of measure, you will require certain decimal places. So, number of doesn't require any unit of measure. Okay. Taking example outside this particular uh, scenario which I am discussing right now, that is my uh, televisions. I may be dealing in some other uh, items also like which will be measured in kgs assuming. Okay. So, I can create a unit of measure called kgs. Give it a name kilograms. For kilograms, decimal places that are required is 3. So, I specify 3. Right. Nine, uh, you, for grams can go up to 999 grams the thousand gram becomes a kilogram right so I require three decimal places to measure the kilograms then uh, I may want to show conversion right uh, let's say uh, to give an example I have kilograms how many grams make one kilogram thousand grams right so I will create one more uh, unit of measure called grams I am not putting any decimal places for it now I want to say okay uh, one material is bought in so many grams which is equivalent to this many kilograms so I have something known as compound unit of measurements Till now we were doing simple unit of measurements where we were describing okay this is the name of the item this is the symbol for it sorry this is the name of the unit of measure this is the symbol for it and these are the number of decimal places which are required now I may have complex conversions also like grams converted into kilograms right so I will use compound for such complex conversions so as soon as I select type compound it is displaying me the information like what is the first unit of measure so I will say kilograms 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1000 grams so using this what I will be able to do is either buy in kilograms and selling grams or buy in grams and sell in kilograms ok so one item will have multiple unit of measurements to be measured in buying in one, one uh, unit of measurement and selling in other unit of measurement ok 
Similarly, you may have kgs being converted into bags. Right? One bag having 500 kilogram of grain or 50 kilogram of grain. Right? So, you will have bags as a unit of measurement and kilograms as your other unit of measurement where one bag will have 50 kilograms of grain. For that purpose, this conversion is required. The compound unit is required. Okay? Right. Now I may have multiple locations from which I will be storing goods and selling. So, I will go to create. I will create a go down. That is a location. Or I may give, I may have given some name to it. Like say store 1. Or I may have one building where I have multiple floors. So I will say floor 1. Floor 2. And let's say basement. So I have three locations where I am storing my goods. Basement, floor 1, floor 2. Okay. So now all my required uh, masters are ready to create a stock item. Right. My groups are ready. That is the branch. My categories are ready. That is the, uh, the feature of that particular television. My unit of measure is ready. The uh, unit of measurement in which my goods will be measured. My locations for the storage are ready. Now I am ready to create the stock items. So now let us see how the stock items are created. The stock items also can be created in a single mode or a multiple mode. So let's say Sony 29 inch LCD television. Which group does it fall under? Or which brand is it? Sony. So I select Sony. What is the uh, feature? It's a 29 inch television. So I select the, the category. What is it going to be measured in? Grams, kilograms or numbers? It will be measured in numbers. Okay, now what is the opening balance in this? Assuming that when I start the uh, start using this product tally, if I have stocks already available in my go down or in hand, then in that case I will specify these opening quantities here. So let's say when I start maintaining this transaction, I have uh, two numbers of Sony 29 inch television available with me in hand. So I select specify two. Now I can define in which location is it available. Is it available in the basement? Is it available on floor 1 or is it available on floor 2? So let's say I have one piece in basement and one piece which is available on first floor. So I select base, basement 1 and I specify some value, the rate at which I had bought it. And floor so here what I have done is I have bifurcated the quantity into two different locations. So my master is ready. Thank you so much and do join me in the other video sessions. Hi, I am Shailesh 
and I will be taking you through creating inventory masters today. There is another way of creating a stock item that is through multiple mode. So I come into multiple stock items, go to create. Now let's say I have multiple Sony televisions, then I select group Sony. Okay, category is 32 inch numbers. If I have quantity available, let's say I have one number available of Sony LCD television which is available on floor 2. I accept it. Another one. this 14 inch assuming I have three numbers of this first floor two numbers floor two one number I may have other types of televisions also Sony 29 inch LED TV twenty nine inch etc. I accept it. So what we have done right now is we have seen how the stock items are created and how uh, they are created in single entry mode and a multi entry mode. Okay, now I may display it, display it to see what are these stocks available with me and what are their configurations. And if required, I can make modifications into these masters using the alter. Okay. Now what we have done is, we have created certain stock items, clubbed them under certain groups. Now let us see how the reports are displayed. But before that, what I will do is, I will take this liberty of making certain stock items into this data and then I will show you the reports and see how these will be used to do some analysis. Okay, I have created uh, stock items which are clubbed under two groups, LG and Sony. Now let us see how the stock summary, how our reports look like. So the stock reports are available in stock summary. This is the main uh, stock statement that we usually see. When you go into stock summary, it will show you that you have seven numbers of LG and seven numbers of Sony available with you. Now. What are the stock items that are available in this? So when I press Alt F12, sorry Alt F1, which is the detailed mode, I get 
the detail information like i have lg lg 14 inch lcd television five numbers available and i have sony 14 inch lcd television three numbers see so if uh, somebody comes and says that okay uh, show me 14 inch lcd television he doesn't have preference you would show either lg or sony because these are available uh, at this point of time will you be talking about panasonic 14 inch television obviously not because your statement shows that it is not available with you correct it's not there okay now uh, to see which location it is available Currently, we are only seeing the list of stock items. Which location are they available? So, you can press F12. Here, you can say, expand all levels in detail format. So, here, you can see LG 14-inch LCD television is available in three locations. Basement, two numbers. Floor one, one num two numbers. Floor two, one number. Okay, so if the shop is in basement, okay, you already have uh, two numbers available from the shop itself, you can provide it. In case it is not available in the basement, then in that case, you will move to the first floor and ask for the LCD television. Clear? So why, how are you able to take these decisions? You are able to take these decisions because you, are, you have clumped your or you have created your inventory masters or chart of accounts for your inventory very effectively. Okay. Now let us see where is the category information available. The category information is available under display. Statement of inventory. You have categories. So you can see the report category wise also. Huh? So now let's say I want to do a comparison between all 14 inch televisions that are available. So what I will do is I will select 14 inch television, hit enter and I see that LG and Sony, two 14 inch televisions are available with me. How is it possible? Because you have clubbed them right. Okay? Alright. Now, let us quickly recap what we have done today. We have first seen what are the features you will be able to uh, enable using F11 for the inventory masters. Two, we have created and alter stock groups, stock categories, unit of measures, go downs and stock items. From a stock item screen, how can you create all these masters? All the other masters. Okay. I am creating one stock item by the name Devu Split condition, Air Conditioner. Okay. Is it LG, Panasonic, Samsung or Sony? No. It belongs to some other uh, brand itself. So, what you need to do is you want to create a new brand. So, from here itself you can press Alt C which takes you to the stock group master creation. So, I have created Devu. Okay. Is it a 14 inch, 29 inch or 32 inch television? No. It is a split air conditioner. Okay. Will it be measured in grams? kgs or numbers ok I don't want to uh, uh, use this unit of measurements I want to create a new one by the name pieces or packs so I press alt c here created a new unit of measurement by the name packs right have you observed the intelligence of tally when you were here on the under field where it is displaying the list of groups when you press alt c it took you into stock group creation when you are here in category when you press alt c 
it shows you stock category creation and when you are in the unit of measurement and when you press alt c it shows you the unit of measurement creation so this is an inbuilt intelligence in tally which makes it more convenient to use the product is it clear so uh, in the master screen or any screen of tally if you want to create a new master you just have to go to that particular field and press alt c which will allow you to create a new master so that's all from my side to recap quickly we have uh, seen f11 features that were enabled like stock groups and uh, stock categories and go downs we have seen how to create and alter stock groups categories unit of measurement go downs and stock items we have also seen from the stock item screen you can create other masters like stock group stock categories go downs and unit of measurement all right thank you so much and do join me in the other se video sessions